Well, Matt, good to talk to you. First of all, reflections on what was uh, an eventful afternoon at Villa Park. Yeah, um, obviously happy to make my Premier League debut for Villa. Um, so much better being out on the pitch and watching it in the stands. So I'm happy on that sense. That, um, yeah, it feels like another one that's got away. Um, first half, we completely dominated. Um, and felt like we should have been going in at half time more than one up. Um, that's probably a negative thing. Um, and then second half, they changed their formation and started playing a bit more direct and really put us under pressure. But obviously, scoring a goal and then conceding straight after, it's a real kick in the teeth. Yeah, you made a comment on social media talking about the positives you can take from the game. Can you uh, sort of embellish on that and, and tell us what you think those positives were going forward? Uh, well, especially the first half, like I think we pinned them in, um, put them under loads of pressure and um, yeah, they didn't really have uh, much chances in the first half to, to score. So in that sense, we, we dominated the game and yeah, we look a threat. Um, going forward, which was nice, but on the other hand, we, when we're that dominant, we need to make it 2-3-0 going in at half-time, yeah. And you were managing to get forward yourself and pinging in a few of those crosses? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's part of my game. Um, I like to get forward and put the crosses in and try and, try and get assists for the boys up top. Yeah, the atmosphere was, was great. Fans staying right behind you, which is what you need, everyone pulling together. Yeah, they're massive, um, especially at home. Um, the support that I've seen over the last few weeks, especially when we play at home, is immense. Um, they're, they're so loud and support them, which is, which is great for players, and especially when you're on the pitch, it does make a big difference. And away from home as well, that's a special backing you've got. You sampled that on your return, didn't you, uh, at Brighton in the Carabao Cup? Yeah, it uh, just shows how big this club is. Um, when you get, uh, I think it was 2,800, was it? Something, something like that. Something like that, travelling down to Brighton on a Wednesday night. Um, it, was, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was great support and, uh, yeah, they certainly, uh, make, uh, certainly uh, made it loud and clear. And that was a rather different experience for you in the competition than the previous round when you picked up the injury in that win at Crewe. Yeah, um, so it wasn't nice going off injured, but um, I've been working hard to get back. And uh, yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm in a better place than what I was when I first joined the club. Yeah, and it's, you seem really to enjoy that, that game at the Amex. And, and also, in a way, it shows that if you can do well in you know, the League Cup when the changes are made, there is a route in, into the, the team for the Premier League, which is what happened for you. Yeah, definitely. I think um, any time you get a chance to play uh, a game, it's a chance to, to improve and, and show the manager what you can do. Obviously, I would have liked to be involved in more games, but um, that's the manager's decision. And uh, yeah, so it's my, ch it's my chance to show in training and games whenever I get the opportunity why I deserve to be playing. Do you still feel at the uh, what tender age of 24 <laughs> uh, that your game is still developing and there's more you can learn? And if so, what, what can you learn here? Yeah, I think you can always uh, learn and improve. Um, like you said, I'm only 24. Um, I still still need to play so much more football to to learn about certain things. But yeah, um, yeah, the more the more games you play, the more more you learn. Yeah. How about um, Monsieur Gilbert on the other side? He's uh, earning rave reviews. He, he's, he's quite a player, isn't he? Yeah, he's done. He's done well. To be fair, since since he come in the team, um, he's done well. Um, He's, he's pretty much like me, he loves to get forward and uh, puts crosses in, so yeah, uh, got his first assist on Saturday, which was, which was nice, um, so yeah, uh, long may it continue. And are you settling to life in the, in, in the uh, West Midlands night? Nice. I, I manage you've got a, a familiar neighbour, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I've got next door to John McGinn, which is nice. Um, so, uh, speak every now and then I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, it's, it's nice to have a, him next door. Um, he if I don't know the area, um, he, he tells me what's, what's the good places and stuff like that. So yeah, it's, it is a 
quite handy to have him next door. <laughs> he's made an incredible start to the season, hasn't he? You know, he's taken to the Premier League like a, a duck to water. What's he like as a bloke? Does he, <laughs> you know him a little bit more than everyone else. Yeah, no, he's, he's done so well, to be fair. Um, probably our most consistent player this, this season, which which is uh, nice. Um, he's, yeah, like you said, stepping up to the Premier League, he doesn't look out of place one bit. It's like he's been there for the last five years. So He clearly has a sense of humour about him. You can tell that by the goal celebration. Uh, but, but yeah, he, 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 having that positivity and having that smile on his face presumably helps his game, doesn't it? Yeah, um, yeah he doesn't take uh, much serious, which is nice. And um, yeah, like you say, he's probably one of the funniest guys in the dressing room. So. Yeah, he's got a good character about him. Now, you came through the Southampton Academy and you just look at the stellar names that have come through that, you know, Bale, Walcott, the, the, the list is endless, <laughs> isn't it? But what, what did you learn there and how have you been able to adapt it over the years and, and looking forward now with your career with Villa? Um, you learn quite a lot. Um, through each, each uh, age group, you, you learn different stuff. Um, especially when you get higher up into men's, like men's football, professional football, that's when you start to learn different things. Um, you play against players that are older than you, with uh, different physiques to you. So, um, yeah, and in that sense, you learn a lot. Um, and uh, at Southampton, when you have players in front of you, you, you learn off them because they've been in and around it for so many years. and. You just try and learn as much as possible. So when when you when you get your chance, you you, you try and take it. Yeah. Yeah. And now you're very much a villain. Isn't it funny how you, you played for Fulham in that playoff final <laughs> against Villa when the club was sort of down on their knees? Yeah. And now look at it. I know results haven't necessarily gone how you wanted at the start of this season, but performances are good, and it, and it's um, it, it it does bode well, doesn't it? Yeah, there's, there's so many positives to take from this season so far. Um, obviously, we haven't got the wins that we wanted, but we're not far off at all. Um, I think just we need to get a bit more ruthless, um, a bit more nasty to play against, just, just little things like that, and then I'm sure the results will come. And Norwich coming up, how do you feel about that one at, at Carrow Road? Yeah, it'll be a, a tough test. Um, They've, they've done well at home, um, beating Man City. Um, so, yeah, but I know that their atmosphere is going to be good. So it's going to be a difficult test, but um, for sure we'll be going there to try and take all three points. Yeah, it points to another cracking game, doesn't it? But that's safe for the, for the maximum points. That's the key, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Three points is, is all you can think about when you go to places like that. Um, Norwich, then the next game after that, Brighton, you've got, you got to try and take as much points as possible, yeah. And you can get above them in the early table. I know you can't look at the standings with too much significance yet, can you? But no. you, you want to have that upward momentum, don't you? Yeah, exactly. It's not nice seeing, seeing you down there at the moment. Like, It's always more comfortable when you see yourself mid-table and uh, pushing up even further. So we want to try and get there and, uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure it'll be far off. Uh, right, good to talk to you and good to know that you've got John McGinn there for a cup of sugar if you need it <laughs> late in the night. <laughs> Thanks, Cheers, mate. thank Brilliant. you. Top man.